Hey, what's up everyone? Pastor Daniel here. I just wanted to take a moment and talk to you about this upcoming Sunday. It's a big one, but first let me set it up a bit as we head into this 100 Days of Faith. See, over the last few weeks, we've been in this series where we've been talking about Thy Kingdom Come, where we've been taking the Lord's Prayer, those few simple words of saying, not my will, but your will, not my kingdom, but your kingdom. As we've been praying through this, we've also been identifying who we are as a church, why we exist, what our purpose is, and some of the things that are coming just in front of us. See, we look at scripture and any time that God was to advance his kingdom, whether that would be through some of the Old Testament heroes of the faith, maybe some of the prophets, maybe even through some of the disciples, any time that he would look to advance his kingdom, he would always partner with people. He would raise up what we called kingdom builders. And we would see throughout history that that's how the kingdom of God would be advanced, that every generation would build on what those before had done. And so Jesus was a kingdom builder, disciples were kingdom builders, and you and I, as a part of City Church, we are kingdom builders. We said it this way, that we exist to advance the kingdom of heaven into every heart and every home on earth. See, for us as a church, we believe that it's God's desire to do something in the here and now, that he's building his kingdom. See, that it's about more lives being impacted, about broken homes receiving healing. It's about marriages being mended. It's about single moms being supported, kids who are receiving mentors. God is building his kingdom. He's doing that right here in our backyard and we have a part to play. And that brings us into the point of this video and to the big opportunity that we have coming into this Sunday. See, as God's kingdom is built through us, through the work of our church, through City Church, we need to create more space for more lives to be changed. If you've walked around the facility, if you've been in the spaces, you know some of the limitations that we face. We are multiplying, we are growing our kids' spaces, our student spaces, we are slammed in there. The places that we are to meet for counseling, for marriage, or if we're to sit down and just have a staff meeting, we need space as we continue to see more people come into the house, as we see more lives impacted by the gospel. Just recently, we've been seeing people say, I wanna get saved, I wanna get baptized. We believe that that's just the beginning. And so we need to partner together to build the kingdom of God. We need to create more space at City Church for more changed lives. And if you've heard me talking about this recently over the last couple of weeks, I've confessed I'm not great at talking about money. In fact, I even try to dodge it in all that I can. But here's what I'm convinced of, that God partners with people and that he wants to do something through me, through you, through all of us together as we trust him in this process to build the kingdom through us. So what does that look like for us? What are we doing? Well, you've heard me talk about the number. In order for us to create more space for more changed lives, we need to raise $125,000. Now, that math can simply be broken down, and it is bite-sized, it is digestible. If we just look at it and say, hey, if I can do my part, if I can come and be full of faith, if I can give my best, then God will multiply, just like those fishes and loaves. If we would just trust him with the little, I believe that he's gonna take what we give and multiply it out to reach more and more people. So how can you participate? What does it look like as we enter into 100 days of faith? See, this Sunday is gonna be day one. We are kingdom builders, and on day one and for the next 100 days thereafter, we're gonna be praying boldly, 
continuing to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We're going to be serving faithfully within our church, serving the ministries, serving in our giftings, but also serving in the build out. We are building out those spaces even now. You've probably seen them. If you haven't, you need to take a tour. We've been putting up the drywall and the framing. Now we've been putting up the HVAC, installing the air conditioners. The plumbing has been going in. Electrical is getting pulled. We are so close to putting up drywall and paint and flooring and finishing these spaces. And if, if, my friends, if we can raise the capital up front, well, that date is coming just around the corner. If we can raise the cash up front, then we can continue building out. And here's the date. Here's our target. Here's what we're aiming for. Somewhere in February, by Easter of next year, we would be in that space. But my friends, that only happens if we trust the Lord with our finances, if we're get, uh, generous in our giving. So I want to encourage you to prayerfully consider what would the Lord have you and your household, your family do to participate in 100 days of faith? Will you be a kingdom builder with us? Will you be a part of the cause that brings great effect to the lives of people around us? Listen, why are we doing this? It is not about a building. We believe, we know, we're convinced that lives are at stake. Eternity is at stake. My loved ones, your loved ones, your spouse, your kids, your family members, your friends, your colleagues, the people that you interact with, this is why we are doing this. They need to hear the good news of the gospel. They need to experience the life-changing presence of God. And we can do this together. This isn't just some nice to do type idea. Just, well, this would be a good thing. Maybe if, no, my friend, this is mission critical. If we're going to reach more people, if we are going to build out the kingdom of God, if we're going to see more lives change, more salvations, more baptisms, then this is mission critical. And so what are we asking? We're asking that you would make a kingdom investment that you would give of your resources and that you would give your very best. See, throughout scripture, when we look at giving, it was always about sacrificial giving. It wasn't about the specific dollar amount. It was more about, it was about some sort of sacrificial giving. I'm going to trust God with these resources. I'm going to reach deep. I'm going to believe deep. And God, I'm going to trust you with it. My wife and I, just to be honest with you, things are tight. We're sitting around the dinner table and we're looking at bills and, and, and we things are tight. Inflation and groceries, listen, it hits my household. We have four little kiddos. And so as we head into this season, I'm just being honest with you. We're sitting down at the table and saying, God, this number might not be as big as what I would love for it to be. It's as, it's as big as my faith can allow for in this moment. God, help me help my family as we trust you, as we make sacrifices. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. We are saying no to so many smaller things, luxury type things, things that we, we would like to do, but we're not going to do during this 100 days of faith. Why? Because our treasure is not here. Our treasure is there. We are making kingdom investments. And so we're giving sacrificially, the Mosleys will be, including my children. We're all participating and we're asking you to participate as well. What will you give? What is the Lord leading you to give? What investment will you make into the kingdom of God? And is it worth it? Well, if we're content with only having those who are here today, then we don't need to do this. But if we believe that God is up to something, if we want to be a part of something bigger than us, greater than us, that will outlive us, if we want to build the kingdom of God, if we want to leave kingdom legacy, well then my friend, this Sunday is the opportunity. This Sunday is day one of 100 days of faith. And here's what we're going to do. 
This Sunday, we're going to be bringing in our first action in the kingdom of God kingdom builders inside of this you've probably received here over the last couple of weeks it explains what we're doing how the campaign is being run who it's for some of our goals where the funds are going to go if you go over to our website and you haven't seen this yet you can find a digital version of this just look to the top of our website and you'll see kingdom builders if you click on that it's going to give you the basics of what we're doing the floor plan our goal what it looks like the purposes this is a good site for you to go to citychurchpooler.com and just click on kingdom builders that will explain a little bit more to you you can also give while you're over there and make your first contributions towards the campaign so let me again talk about this weekend because this one is so so important as we come to church on sunday we're asking everyone to participate if you're an owner if you are a part of city church if you have been blessed by the ministry of our church at all in any way we're asking you to pay it forward to make an investment and here's how you can do that see you can give a one-time gift maybe that's you say hey I've sold something I have some extra cash over here I could give this and it's a one-time gift I would write this on my card I would fill in the amount and then I'm gonna bring the card and that gift this Sunday this Sunday is the first fruits offering. We're all bringing our pledge cards, the amount filled in that we're trusting God to help us to give, and we're bringing the first fruits of that, the first offering of this. So if I have a one-time gift, this weekend is a great opportunity to bring that gift. If I am going to pledge, and let's just say that my family was going to pledge, let's say it was $5,000 over the next 100 days, then I would write that here on my card, and then we would bring the first portion of that. So if I were maybe dividing that up over five installments or what have you, then that's how that approach would go. Okay, so this is a huge weekend for us, and here's what it's going to do. By having our first fruits come in, this gives us cash on hand so that we can move through the next phases of our build out. We are so close and the cash on hand helps us to keep the ball moving forward. We have no debt on our books. We're not going into debt now. And so we're believing that God is going to provide every need through us as we build the kingdom of God together. So we're entering into 100 days of faith. How do you participate? Then you pray boldly, you serve faithfully, and I'm asking that you prayerfully consider how that you might give generously starting this Sunday. This Sunday is gonna be a big one. I hope that you'll be there. And what we're gonna do is we're bringing those gifts to the storehouse, to the church, much like they did in the Old Testament. And then we're gonna have a moment in service. It's gonna be a special moment where we're all bringing those gifts to the storehouse, to an offering box at the same time, believing God and trusting God that as we give, it's gonna be multiplied in the ROI it's going to be a return on investment from the eternal kingdom. There is no better ROI than that, my friend. Well, let me show you one last thing and then I'll let you go. Is if you would like to follow along on the campaign as you give, we have that set up on our website. So let me show you a bit of what it might would look like. And so again, you can go and you can see that through the website citychurchpooler.com. But one other thing while we're up here is your giving profile. So if you choose to set up a pledge with us saying that I'm going to give over the next 100 days, I'm going to set up a pledge. Well, here's what it's going to look like on your giving profile. You can see here that this is hypothetical. Let's suppose that my wife and my wife and I this was our campaign, what we're going to give. You could see that number and here's my reason for bringing this over here is that you have the opportunity to manage your campaign yourself. We're not going to manipulate you. We're not going to arm twist you. This is something that we're asking you to prayerfully consider and then for you to manage yourself. 
we'll gently remind you, but this is between you and the Lord. I'm not going to be looking at the specifics of individual givers. This is for something for you to see. And so up here on this page is a great way for you to track your progress. This is also a great place for maybe you to set up a recurring gift. That's the easiest way to manage it. And that's how my wife and I will manage our pledge is on the first of the month. We're in addition to our tithes, this is going to come out and this pledge will get fulfilled automatically because I'm gonna set this up as we trust the Lord in faith over the next 100 days. Here's the last part. You can see on the bottom here is you can track the progress of the overall goal. That means the collective goal of all of our church. We're trying to raise 125K and we'll start that this weekend. So. Use the tools, set up recurring. I hope that you'll prayerfully consider how you can participate this weekend. We are kingdom builders together. Why? So that all might hear the gospel, so that all might come to know him, so that all might experience what so many of us, what you have experienced, the grace and the goodness and the love of a heavenly father. We are creating space so that more lives can be impacted. It's not about a building. So as you make an investment into this campaign, you can trust that every dollar is going into making an eternal difference, not just in one individual's life, not just in our moment, but for generations to come, for those who will use the spaces for years after us. Thank you for prayerfully considering. Thank you for being so generous. Thank you for being a part of our church and the mission to reach more people for Jesus Christ. I love you. I can't wait to see you on Sunday. I'm excited to celebrate with you. And I cannot wait till we see this completed and we see the first of many lives impacted in these new spaces. Thanks for participating with us. Thanks for your time today. I'll see you on Sunday morning. Bye.